hello guys um, now in this video I'll show you how to keep your C drive backed up uh, using the AOEMI backup part uh, you can keep an image of your C drive uh, the image size will be uh, depending upon the um, how much uh, I mean the size of your C drive uh, occupied by files and folders uh, if your C drive is 200 gigabyte, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will take 200 gigabyte. But if it is uh, uh, the, um, uh, used uh, only uh, 30 gigabyte, then the backup size will be around 30 gigabyte. So it is really a helpful um, option uh, to um, restore your uh, Windows later on. So I'm just starting a backup bar. So this is a free software. You can download it from their website. So what I'm going to do now first, I need to do a backup of my C drive. So I'm going to backup and it says uh, it says system backup. So if you backup uh, Windows and create an image of the system partition. So that means it will uh, backup the C drive as well as uh, before the C drive, there is a small partition. Uh, this is also a system drive it will make um, the backup of both these two drive together so uh, what you need to do in the end um, whenever you need to uh, restore your computer just forward your hard drive or don't do anything um, uh, you can connect your hard drive to another computer and from there uh, you need to restore this um, uh, backup to your hard um, this hard drive this is how it works so let me start the backup procedure so you can see here there are two drives so I don't need to select anything or do anything because uh, this is system backup so it will do by itself so in my computer 28 gigabyte is used in the C drive and you can see the system reserve it has some around 100 megabyte so you don't need to do anything in step one and in step two you just need to set up the location so for my case i'll um, uh, uh, do i'll set up the location in e drive and i'll make a folder here that system backup So here it will be now press open so the backup will be located there now after doing all these things simply start backup uh, it will take a couple of minutes because uh, the backup size will be around uh, uh, it will be less than 30 gigabyte actually though the um, C drive size is around 30 gigabyte I mean the um, uh, space used around 30 gigabyte uh, but it will um, uh, make the size uh, make the volume less than 30 gigabyte when you will uh, complete the backup so as you can see the uh, backup procedure is ongoing you can see here the speed and remaining time seven minutes and um, uh, how much is uh, backed up you can see the speed is around 70 megabyte per second here I, I hope because this is an SSD so the speed will be a bit higher than that it will uh, reach more than 100 or 200 megabyte per second it should be now uh, let us see what happens as you can see here there are options that check backup integrity uh, integrity on completion or you can shut down your pc if you want you can check the backup integrity sometimes uh, if there is uh, uh, some problem happens with the backup uh, your backup can be uh, you know corrupted so you can check this option on to verify the integrity of the backup. I'll just uh, fast forward this part to avoid any unnecessary delay. guys um, you can see this is completed so press finish and 
let me uh, minimize this window and now I'll check the uh, backed up uh, uh, file. So I kept in this um, E drive here. You can see uh, the system backup. So the size is, um, you can see the size is around 16.5 uh, gigabyte only uh, instead of um, saving it at 30 gigabyte. So it did some, some compression. To restore your computer, uh, you need to attach your hard drive to another computer and install the software there. Afterwards, you need to press this restore button, then you can see the list, but don't select anything from there. Um, you need to come back to path, select click path, and then from here, um, you need to find your backup location. So you can see in my case here, uh, this is the backup location. Once you select this, you will get a heads up message that it is a system user or something. So just ignore this and press yes. And you need to select this backup and you need to check in this restore system to other location. Otherwise, uh, the restoring computer uh, will be damaged. So do not make that mistake. You must select this option. Now, if you come back, uh, come to the next step, you will see the list of hard drives are here. So uh, this hard drive zero is the hard drive belongs to that computer, but your computer hard drive will appear, your hard drive will appear here. So you can see here uh, in this computer, there are two drives, the C and another one is uh, like another system drive. So uh, when you will select the, uh, hard drive that uh, where you want to restore the uh, windows after that you can press the next button and complete it as usual guys thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my channel and like and share my video thank you